Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at potential inside-out pattern on gold. So really all morning we've we've had kind of this bullish tone to to the markets i mean you can see that we've we kind of had a little bit of consolidation but for the most part have been moving up and have been staying above both of the clouds for and well really all morning since yesterday uh this is really the next area that we kind of moved into where we've run into a little bit of consolidation here just kind of going back and forth and back and forth but you'll notice right inside here we have these inside uh the inside out these are the previous high of day right here these levels and we attempted to push inside of them, but the buyers immediately rejected it right back out. And that rejection has brought us into a one, two, and now a three where we're looking to buy a one, two, three reversal back to the upside. So let me get my buy order here. 1296.2 is where we're looking to get in. So we got our order placed there. Now, the idea behind this trade really is, I mean, if we look at overall time and price here, we've got a gorgeous one, two, three reversal pattern with a pullback right into our buy zone as well as right into time. So we have a really nice area, actually both of them really, uh, we've got a really nice area that we're looking for here that is setting up pretty much exactly how we want it to be setting up right now. On top of that, uh, the entry point where we are sitting at the moment is right on top of this previous high day at 1295.5. So really what we're looking to do here is enter long here at 96.2, take the first couple of targets off, you know, plus five, plus 10, and then we'll see what the last one can give us. But really just kind of gunning for uh, you know, a, the, a, the typical 20 tick target, maybe a little bit more. We're going into the high of day, and really the only level we have to work with is at 1299.4 and all the way up to 1305.5. So we really don't have a whole lot to work with in terms of above us, other than the fact that the big round number of 1300 is there. And we just got filled there, so let me just. All right, never mind then. Uh, let's bump our stop forward here a little bit. Got the first target filled pretty much immediately at plus five. We've moved our stop now to minus five, so we're in a break-even position right now. Let's move our target up, our final target up here. This big round number is going to act as a magnet. And the, the fast pace that we saw the buyers come in here, we're expecting a little bit more of a bullish tone on this move here. Uh, so we got our bounce, we got our fill. Entry at 1296.2. First target was off at 96.7 almost instantaneously. Uh, stop is now at 95.7. Next target, the 10 tick targets at 97.2. And we're just gunning for this 1300 big round number here, a couple ticks ahead of it at 99.7. Uh, really outside of that, that's about all we can really anticipate in terms of seeing a bounce in that location. A lot of times, even with these big areas of support and resistance, the 1300s, 1400, you know, those big round numbers. Uh, typically, you're going to get a little bit of a bounce and maybe even a little bit of a rejection, but it's really acting as more of a magnet more than anything else. And that's kind of the idea behind this. The closer and closer we get to that big round number, the more people see that, that big 1300. And you're going to start to get orders placed around that location, buy orders, stop orders, uh, target orders. I mean, we're even placing our target order there. We're a little bit ahead, but there's a lot of volume and a lot of volatility that comes in those 1300s and those big round numbers. And they can be kind of unpredictable. So we just got to be a little bit careful. That's why we're front running it by a few ticks um, and it might even be safer to gun down to this 99.4 we'll see what price wants to do when it hits that location but i mean really that's just kind of what we're looking for we're looking for a magnet trade right up to that 99.7 here so we got the first two targets filled plus five two off at plus five one off at plus 10, locked in $200 so far. If this next target does end up filling, we're looking at taking another 35 ticks out of the trade. So overall, really nice trade just in general. It'd be a 55 tick trade. Uh, now, we're anticipating this taking a little bit of time here. Uh, we are seeing a nice aggression from the buyers, and we have made a new high now. So it is looking good for the trade. Uh, but we'll give it a couple seconds here, and we'll see what it wants to do. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're getting closer to our target here. And, oh, there we go. We got it filled. So got our target filled here at 1299.7. Now, again, we're anticipating this 1300 level to act as resistance and possibly see a little bit of a bounce down from there, which you can see price kind of fluctuating around. We haven't quite even hit it yet. So we are seeing the sellers kind of front running that position a little bit at 1300. So now we've just tagged it uh, and we should see a little bit of fluctuation there. But overall, a really, really good trade. Took two off at five, one off at 10, and then one off. I believe that last one is 35. 
off at 35. So a total of 55 ticks on the trade, $550 in just a little bit. Uh, so really, really good trade, and, and it keeps going forward. And that's kind of the unpredictability about those 1,300 levels, big round numbers. Never really anticipate what they're going to do there. Uh, so that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. And don't forget to check out our trial at schoolofdrade.com. Have a good one. Bye.